This week's Torah portion is Parshas Acharemus Kadoshim. Three of the most well-known words in our Torah are mentioned in this week's Torah portion. Love your fellow as yourself. Many of us are familiar with the great story brought down in the tractate of Shabbos, where a Gentile who wants to convert to the Jewish faith goes to the great sage Shammai. And he says, Shammai, will you convert me while I stand on one foot? Teach me the entire Torah while I stand on one foot. Shammai doesn't believe this gentleman is serious, and he chases him away. He says no. The Gentile then goes to Shammai's contemporary Hillel, and he says, Hillel, will you teach me the Torah while I stand on one foot? And Hillel goes ahead and he says, I will. And he tells him the following. He says, that which is hateful to you, don't do to others. That's the Torah. The rest is an explanation and commentary. Go ahead and learn that now. Tosvas, the commentary on the Talmud in the Tractate of Pesachim, tells us the following and ponders, we try and love everybody, but what about people who are evil, people who are bad? Do we have the obligation to go and love them? As is commanded in the Torah, and Tosvas comes with the conclusion that while we may find it hard to love them, we do not need to love them, but nevertheless, we shall not disperse hate, we shall not conjure hate in our heart for those people. We should actually pray for them. It's not a coincidence that this week's Torah portion, for the majority of the time, falls between uh, Pesach and Shavuos, during the times of the Sefira when the Jewish people mourned the deaths of the 24,000 students of Rabbi Akiva, who died within a 33-day period. And the reason we are told, we are told while they, why they died is because they had no respect for one another. Drawing a parallel between that and this, Torah, and this week's Torah portion gives us some magnitude of what hate can manifest into. When we look at this week's Torah portion, we see these three words, and we look at the climate that we're in today, where there is a lot of hate, and people don't like each other for specific reasons. Whatever the reason is, we read this Torah portion and we can maybe take a step back and see how the Torah can really improve our lives of where we are proactive trying to be able to love people even though they may not have the same agreements with us. There is a fine line between disagreement and hate and the more that we can really zone in and see how can we improve ourselves as an individual of overcoming the hate and being able to have dialogue being able to understand our differences, then the more we come, the more content we become as a person, which gives us the time to be able to improve as a person and gives us the time to be able to reflect in an objective way and which ultimately leaves to us a happier us, a happier self all around. Good Shabbos and Shabbat Shalom.